we've spent, I would say, the majority of our time here on Parquet Fernando over the course of the last week or so, but with the release of True Horns for Black Buck, I wanted to come back here once again and actually give multiplayer a try to see if we can maybe get a diamond one for our trophy lodge. So we're going to bring Rocky with us. We're going to hopefully get to level him up along the way, and we'll see what we can get. This server is about 6.30, 6.36 in the morning, so we'll probably spend some time hunting red deer and puma and stuff like that, and it should roll nicely right into Black Buck during time. I can never remember exactly the gold requirement for access to here, but I think that guy will be close. Usually the level 4s with decent brow tines have a good chance. And if for nothing else, it'll give Rocky something to actually go and track, so with this head up... Try to go for a hard shot, but I think we're too far right. I think it'll get into a lung though, and that'll actually give Rocky a bit more of a purpose with that one. And I think it's been pretty well documented by now that there's a bug when the dogs get to the max tracker level to where they pretty much start tracking in slow motion, but at least on PC, it seems they have a fix for that. So I had to enable Hunt Club Beta. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but having it enabled seemed to fix him. You can see he is a level 16 tracker, but he's tracking along like there's no issues whatsoever. So I honestly have no idea if this fix was rolled out for console or not. I know console has Hunt Club Beta, so there's a chance that they'd be able to do it with that as well. But it's nice to actually get to level up Rocky normally and not have to worry about that. And he did find our level 4 access to here, so while he's kind of waiting to actually start barking, it was a gold. Kind of an interesting looking one. They're similar antlers, but it's almost like this one scaled up just a little bit. And now that he actually found it, we'll praise him for that. We'll also give him a treat since he's sitting still. And I saw a bunch of other stuff back there behind us, so we'll try to get a look at what's going on around us. And there is something in there that's a little different. It's actually an albino axis deer. I don't think the threes have any chance of making gold, especially not if we shoot it with the M1 there. But that's a pretty cool start. I'm glad we actually did get spun around and saw that before he ran off. Because a lot of times taking this run around here does spook a puma or two. And if that ran through there, all the axis deer would have scattered. So I think we kind of lucked out in that aspect. I actually didn't even look what gold was, but this guy does have little brow tines, so maybe he has some kind of small chance. He is a silver at 146, or gold's 155, so maybe threes would have a shot at it, but pretty good looking axes. I think we've had now a diamond piebald and diamond melanistic, so maybe one of these days we can get a timed albino as well, but pretty good way to start this with Rocky finding a couple of our axes deer for us. As long as he's actually symmetric, which I think he is. That would be my favorite level 7 red deer rack, and it's a 300 meter shot, so it would give Rocky something to do for a little while tracking him. And I think that is actually perfectly symmetric. So not a hard shot, which is good. Didn't want to drop that in his tracks and uh, take away Rocky's tracking opportunity, because that should run a good 100 meters or so. It is actually quite fun to just like run behind the dogs when they're max tracking level and just see how they do. Because a lot of times trying to level them up, I just kind of went for drop shots and let them find the animal but they really do track faster than I can, and it's cool to actually see them do that. But yeah, I just like this red deer rack. I really would like to get a rare one like this, because we did get that big rare mythical, but I just love all the tines on this, and the brow tines and everything look really good. This Rocky is continuing to bark. I guess we'll give him a treat for finding that one. Ooh. Well, that's a pretty cool find. I don't know where he's going. I think it was a blonde fur type again, but there's a level 5 mule deer here somewhere out here. It's a little worrying because I just saw two different female pumas walking around in this area. And all these are alert. It was weird that level 5 was calm because it actually looked like he was kind of fleeing. They must have a rest zone around here. It's currently 826. I don't even know. Yeah, they should definitely be resting until at least 9. So I don't know why they're moving, but hopefully we can get a shot at that. Actually, that is not a blonde fur type. And I think it's the really wide rack. So we have one of these from Silver Ridge Peaks, but it's definitely my favorite uh, of the Diamond Mule Deer racks. So if we can get some kind of decent shot at him, that's definitely one that I'd love to put somewhere in the trophy lodge. I'm glad that he didn't go that far. There's also a good size four in there with him. And that's actually a pawn for a type. So I'd say we're looking out. I think that's just a common or maybe a gray. And the wind's not very good. So what we can kind of do is just scoot forward here. He should pretty quickly notice us and go alert. And probably he'll stand and face us. Usually that's what they do. Don't love that we have the waypoint on screen, but if we can get a heart shot in there, 
That would be nice. Hopefully single lung will do well enough. Should bring him down. And at the very least, with that rack, I think it's a guaranteed diamond. I actually don't remember if the one from Silver Ridge Peaks was a common or a gray, but let's take a look and see what we got for a score on this guy. 331. I feel like our other is 330s as well, but that's a solid 15 above diamond. Rocky finally found him, but that's really, really cool. Starting out with some pretty cool kills. Missed the heart by actually a decent amount. We're lucky we got into the side of the lung. But let's maximize that. Let's praise Rocky and give him a treat for finding yet another diamond. I don't know how many he's found now, but he's doing pretty well with them. What is happening out here? That's not the best estimate, but that's a piebald level 5 axis here. We just talked about that earlier. We have a piebald and melanistic diamond already. He's only up to 226, but most of the fives do make it. And we had his track and I just decided to follow it. It was over there by where the mule deer went down. So basically, in roughly the same area, there were two different max level animals. We'll see if this one ends up making diamond for us as well. Because the mule deer definitely did. That was a good one. And actually, I'm not sure this is a perfectly even rack. So maybe there's a bit of character to him. I do expect him to stop in sight though. We got plenty of space. Still actually fleeing, surprisingly. Now he's going to nervous. So if he'll stop broadside. Ooh. Ooh, there's another pilot in that herd too, but I wasn't necessarily going for a drop shot, but it's pretty cool to make a longer drop shot with a 243. And by the way, the level 5 piebald that we killed before, the made diamond, it was like a super close range shot frontal when we didn't drop him. So go figure that one went a little better. So I mentioned I didn't really try to go for a hard shot there, but it's such a perfect place for him to drop because it's a really nice picture we got with Rocky. And let's see. I like the antlers. That is another piebald diamond, 221.7 for this guy. I think our other was maybe 225. So they're probably different antlers. I am curious, if we go into the true score, yeah, there's definitely some differences. Usually if any of them are different, you'll get several throughout being different. There was a time where basically every, uh, every true rack that wasn't two very different antlers was perfectly symmetric, but this one isn't, and I definitely like that. Our other axis to your piebald is probably... So that could definitely be a little bit of variation as well, but we'll have to find somewhere in the lodge for that, because not only is that another piebald diamond axis to your, since they've kind of been fixed, it's sort of our first super rare with Rocky. I don't know that I'd consider any of the axis to your rare diamonds a super rare, but first one with the dog is definitely cool. So we're finally on to Black Buck. A little later than intended, but definitely not complaining after those couple of kills. And of course, it seems like a Puma's kind of spooking everything, so we might try to hit that level 4 on the run. It's kind of an odd thing when they're running at you, because it's not a shot that we go for a lot, but looks like we've got a lung. I really have been quite pleased to see the dogs doing so well in multiplayer, as well as single player. Because I did wonder if there'd be, like, sinking issues or anything like that, but they're doing just fine. As we're going along, we actually have him pretty close to level 22 companion. We'll probably get there by the end of the video. This has actually been a pretty good mule deer server because there was a big four out by our diamond. Obviously the diamond itself. And then that guy standing out there is another good size four. And we got to go over there anyway because sometimes there are drink zones either for mule deer or black buck right at the end of the lake. So since we're going that direction, there's no reason not to take him. Now that I didn't expect to see. It's not like it's a huge water buffalo. Just a level six, but... I didn't realize they drank over here. I knew that some moved into here, and actually, also had no idea there were black buck drinking right here in front of us. We're kind of alerting them. Might be just that we're that close, so let's just take this guy. Since he's kind of out in the open, and we'll watch and see, there is a leucistic in there. Just a doe, so not one I'm too worried about actually going for. And none of the bucks look that big, so we might just be happy with what we got then. Meanwhile, I think Rocky found our mule deer. Definitely sounds that way. And that was a 266, so pretty close to the top estimate. We'll actually give him another treat. Apparently we're quite close to somebody, but let's give him that. And we'll go and take a look at our black buck. And of course he's just a silver at 91. And Rocky's quite excited to let us know that he found that, so we'll praise him. Well, it's hardly the most impressive for 96 to 113 definitely isn't a super high estimate or anything, but... We'll try to get a shot in there if we can. 
It's kind of an odd angle, and the 243 is not the most ideal weapon. I feel like that's going to have a chance, actually. Bring them down pretty quick, and I thought we might get something in there. I just realized the three's got, like, a better estimate, but I thought we had a chance. Maybe it'll bring him down. Worst case scenario, Rocky can track for a little bit, but especially if that level three's estimate was higher. Definitely not the uh, biggest level four out there. So oddly enough, Rocky actually got on the blood of the level three, so he kind of ran past the four, which I guess is good that they stay on the track that they're following. But unfortunately, we're not going to get the XP from that one. It does look like there's two animals worth of hunting pressure, especially with a second shot. It would make sense that three goes down. And it looks like Rocky's going to be able to find that no problem at this rate. And just since we mentioned it, we did get to level 22, so getting close to unlock another trait. And for our Black Buck, we might have been good. We were actually still really close to catching a vital there. He just jumped enough out of the way, but brought him down and he would have been a gold. I didn't pay attention to the score of the other one, but I think he's bigger. So it's kind of fitting, even though this one isn't as big of a mule deer. On a hunt where we pretty much set out to go for Black Buck, we're mostly just finding a lot of good-sized mule deer, but... I'm hoping at least... A shot like that at 250 meters should drop kind of below the skull and into the neck. And hopefully we can get the gold out of him. And I mean, all things considered, a pipe ball diamond axis deer and a diamond mule deer on a hunt where we're not hunting for either of those things is a pretty good haul. Still no diamond true horns black buck, but hopefully we can find that in due time. And as for our mule deer, we did get that shot to drop below the skull, although barely. Probably could have aimed much higher, but a 233 gold. Actually, gray fur type, same as our diamond. And not a bad way to wrap up this hunt. So let's praise Rocky and figure out where he is and give him a treat. Since he's been spending so much of his day tracking diamonds for us, he definitely deserves that. And I think we'll head back to the trophy lodge and take a look at a couple of those. So with just those two kills, we ended up making quite a number of changes to the trophy lodge. One of them being the fact that the melanistic diamond axis deer is out here now. And we also have our new diamond mule deer because this is a wall of like Truax deer species. And we had a legacy diamond mule deer there for the longest time, and I think it's good to get a true rack one, and a good looking true rack one on the wall as well. I actually don't even know. I didn't look, but I think the other one we shot is in here, and it is actually a common fur type, so that's going to be a little bit of a difference. Bit of variety for the lodge. This one was bigger, but I definitely prefer the gray fur type, so that's pretty cool to get. And then we talked about it a couple of videos back where we basically have the couple of fallow deer and moose on the wall back in this area and I had talked about wanting to get some antler up there instead of a couple of diamond chamois and I basically moved both of the piebald diamond axis into here and it really ties that wall together there's just so much antler and so many trophies on that wall but it looks really really cool we have our new one from today 221.7 and the old one was 225.3 so bit of a difference there I think it's Maybe the same basic rack shape, but a little bit of a different score, and like I said, all the antler on that wall, I just love it. And since we are kind of running through all the changes we made, the two diamond chamois that were replaced by the piebald diamond axis deer are just kind of in here with a lot more species with horns, and I actually think it looks a little better. So I think that was a positive change, but Rocky definitely put in a full shift today, taking a snooze out here, tracking a couple of diamonds, one being a piebald diamond, and a lot of other animals over there on parquet, but... Still no diamond true horns black buck, so more reason to go back and maybe more reason to find other cool stuff as we're going along. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.